Hey everyone, this is b 3 7 back with some more Gem Gem Gold. So in the last part, there was the Treasurer, which was uh, quite a fun level. And some other levels that were pretty nice too. Alright, rock out dude. Let's go to the last level in this uh, zone. Checkered. Let me guess, there's monsters on the other, yep. Point is just to get the, the gents here, right? Oh, a heart! Oh, here they come. There's more gems than that. Oh boy. Oh no, that's it. We just have to get out now. Now. Nope. I have five bombs. Okay. Oh! One minute! That was a lot more menacing than it turned out to be. Okay, so more desert levels incoming. Okay, so bombs again. Second floor. I have no idea which one's gonna be the exit. I don't know which one's dead. Oh, you know what? The exit's probably down there. Oh, I understand what needs to happen now. Uh, the letter for this episode is A. So, okay, resume. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back up there. So yeah, um, uh, what? Okay, that guy is a cheater. This guy cheats, and so does this guy. They're all a bunch of gosh darn cheaters. Yeah, I know, I said gosh darn. Who cares, honestly, it's like... So many, so many people swear needlessly anyway, so it's like... I reserve it for really needed occasions. Like when I do the wrong solution to a level in Subterra, and uh, decide to punctuate it with a swear because I'm a bad player. But let's not talk anymore about that. You know, I'm the one who brought it up in the first place, but shut up, okay? Just be quiet. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, but yeah. I think I can drop a second bomb in there. Although, maybe I shouldn't, but yeah, it's a possibility. Mm. Boom. Hey, rude. That guy's rude. He stopped my bomb. Also, I think I need to clear out the area before I do uh, more. Whatever that means. Well, you know, I could use the mummies and blow their faces up. I would not complain about blowing their faces up, to be honest. Oh, of course, do a little dance. Why not? Of course, I had to blow up that one. There we go. Protection. Alright, thank you. No thank you! Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Oh, oh, you know what? I probably needed that, though. Move up. Move out! Thank you. Oh, a snake. Okay. Well, I'm I'm doomed. Snake stuck. Okay. Well, that's that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? The bomb. Right. The bomb. Okay. If I keep the bomb. Come on, man, stop that with the killing me. It's rude. It's very, very rude. Okay. Yeah, 
run, 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 run. Into the other guy who wants to kill you. Alright. So, yeah. Okay, you know what? I need to review my strategy here. Okay, yeah, so this level is a... A little... Yeah. It is a little. I think that is a, an appropriate descriptor. <laughs> but whatever. The point is... It's gonna be a bit of a pain. Okay, we're going to have to do things differently here. Hmm. Well, I don't really see much of what I can do differently. Well, not dying is a good start, but you know what I mean. I wonder if they have like a 3D model, or if they had to draw every single possible frame an image could have. Yeah, that was never gonna work. And that's another game over already. And they're really just like a setback, you know, the game overs. It's not even like... It's not even really a thing. It's just a nuisance. And no one plays games for scores anymore, like... Unless the game is geared around getting a high score. Like your Angry Birds and your... Gem crush candy things. Otherwise, not so much, I would say. I think I can get through this without. Without, you know? You know perfectly what I mean. Alright, so get the other one in position. Oh, wait, I just realized the vases are spinning when I do that and this is just never gonna drop because these guys are just constant ah well I might as well try to see if I can push that through no reason I just want to try nope because of the way the game works pretty much all right that worked Nice, also. Ooh. No! Oh, you have to hit it with a rock. Oh, that is such garbage. Alright, come here. I don't want to go back out the map, so I'm just going to run into a mummy. Which I already did, so, yeah. Technically, you could get way more than just the five gems, but I think it's like the bonus 100% completion thing that's gonna require that. Thank you. I'm never complaining about less mummies. Nice. Now. Boom. Awesome. So the last step is pretty much just to like... Get the snake out and pray for the best. And now I have to kill this guy with a bomb. Oh, well, I can actually put a thing in to stop it doing that. I have to be good time though. Um, two, three, now. Boom. Excellent. Me thinks it might get stuck somewhere else, though. Of course. Yeah, this is a... This is a pain. Like, compared to last episode, this level is, like, 
much less entertaining and a lot more frustrating. Alright. What do I use the second bomb for, though? I have two bombs, and I can't use one of them for, like... You know, I think the thing that I hate the most in this game is, like... Enemies that are just roaming around the level. Like, for some reason, it's just the main thing that keeps coming up in Gem Jam is, like... Enemies just kind of like getting set loose into the level and it always ends up being the most annoying thing ever Every single time I find it kind of fascinating in a way, but only partially Oh, of course that explosion did that why wouldn't it? Okay, thank you Yeah, I've already realized that the bomb is like practically useless, so thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, you have to use the vase to kill the the dudes though. The snake. Right, I think I might have it though. One, two, three, now! Yes! And a perfect score to boot! Heck yeah! Alright, let's see what this last desert level is. Maybe another one, and then we'll end the video, I suppose. Oh boy. Balloons and stones. Alright, so yeah, I remember seeing this level. Pretty sure of it. Okay, so this balloon, you do not pop that balloon. You can also push them, too. It's important to remember. You can push balloons. Okay. This actually seems more like a maze than anything. Time is short, though, so... Yeah, let's not mess around too much. And yeah, those walls are not even remotely, like... They're not even remotely round, and yet they, things still roll off of them. And I do not understand what the design choice behind that was. It's just so confusing! I... Those are not round walls, but they roll? And that gem is gone forever. And I may have messed myself up. I think something's gonna have to explode over there. Just a hunch. Because uh, I don't see how to get to those gems. Okay, so the maze could use in that direction. I'm gonna blow this up because we're not. Okay. Good move. Okay. Alright, this might be bad. Oh no. Okay. I have 10 gems left. I don't know if I have enough left to get. Yeah, there's another one that's out of reach. Fun. Okay. Okay, rocks have priority over balloons. Interesting. Okay. Six gems. Yeah, I needed all of them. Oh, you know what? I think I know what needs to happen over here. Nope, I don't. Never mind. I think it's just for Flourish that these enemies are there. Mm 
Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. This time, let's be intelligent. Yeah, because the walls are much more obstructive in this level than in pretty much any other level. So we have to be careful about things like that, pretty much, yeah. So if you can, get the gems. And try to avoid, like, piling up rocks in bad places. And yeah, use balloons to your advantage maybe, I guess? Possibly? I'm not sure where, but like, it has to come in handy somewhere. Yeah, see, don't, don't do that. Right there. Yeah. At least now I know that I have to I have to get every gem, so I can tell an, a fail state much earlier now. Yeah, I'm a little perplexed on how to get that one gem, though. <sighs> Good grief. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I'll have to give it to this level. It's actually kind of clever. Like, it's a... Uh get the gems in an intelligent way kind of level. I can appreciate that. Definitely. Oh. That, okay, that is actually pretty clever if that's how that happens. Or how it needs to, anyway. Boom. Now, when I'm here... Okay. Bling. Yeah, when I said use things to your advantage, I guess that's what I meant. Possibly. Okay. So now, get these. Alright, I have to get these from here. There's no other possibility. Ah, oh boy. Wait, what, what? Did I just escape? Popping a balloon. Okay, well, that's just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> that's frustrating, because every other time I've tried to do this, it failed. Without fail. And now it fails to fail. So that's just dandy full. Yeah, I like that. See, I tried to move down and it didn't work. Maybe it's if you move to the sides? I don't know. Ah, yeah, well. Well, let's try to avoid having to do that if we can. And if the more variables I can toggle, the better. Because, yeah. What I'm saying here is, if I can remove a gem to make another accessible, then that's good. I think I should work backwards like that. So yeah, let's try to not bother with the left side too much because that's where everything's like gonna spill out. Like areas like this where there's no way for anything to kind of like go upwards again, I can pop them. That's fine. All the other ones though, no. Oh, and definitely pop this one. As I said, don't mess around with it. Okay, pop. Oh, don't don't go around popping it. Okay. Pop. 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 Right, so this is where I, what I was talking about talking variables. Yeah, because 
If the more control I have over the situation, the better things are gonna turn out, I believe. Oh, and that's the bad news. That's bad news. Oh, okay, well that worked out. But yeah. Oh, crud. Oh, actually, this balloon's gonna keep things afloat, so that's good. Yeah, my mentality almost failed me right there. This one. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I think I want to filter out that direction. Wait, is there a gem I missed? There's a gem I missed. Oh no. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Well, I have to worry about that anymore. So we're good. 60 seconds, and uh, I'm feeling fine. Oh no 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 no. Okay. It always worries me when I see rocks coming up above gems like that. It just feels like a fail state waiting to happen. If the gem's on top, generally that's not such a big deal. Because I, could just, I could just go all the way down and get it. But if there's a rock on top, then the possibilities become muddled. And that's not good. Alright. Oh, let me get that heart. I mean, they're pretty much useless, but... They're good for keeping the annoyance away, I guess. Alright, so I'm not too sure if I can do another level without going too long, but... I can try. Let's see what it's like at the very least. Like a trial or whatever. Purple liquid. Oh boy. So it's a rush around level. Okay. Okay. We're good. Oh, but are, is it gonna blow up the enemies? Oh, I only need three more gems. Okay. And where's the exit? Where's the exit? Okay. I'm guessing those bottom three gems, you cannot get them. Oh well. So, this has been Beast Robot Kinda 7 with uh, Gem Jam, and next time, we'll be going further up north. So until that happens, have a nice one!